a police shooting spanning across several spots tonight, shutting down a busy freeway during the evening rush. This all started a little bit before 6 o'clock tonight, and Lauren Clark spoke with police a few minutes ago, getting the latest information. Lauren? Hey there, John and Christina. Buckle up because this is a lot. We are talking about an incident that spans across the city of Phoenix. It started right next to where I'm standing right now. That's off of State Route 51 and Indian School Road. It ended off of Dobson's and 7th Avenue. Now, what happened between the miles and minutes in between is still under investigation. We don't know too much, but here's what we do know. We have confirmed that there was an exchange of gunfire between officers and a suspect. We don't exactly know who shot at at who, however, uh, we do know that no officers are injured. That's according to police tonight. Now that gunfire was heard by a man named Carlos, and boy, does he have a story. Carlos, he was just driving down to a networking event after work in this area when he ran into all of this. He describes a very frightening encounter with a person he believes was the suspect. Take a listen. Heard gunshots. And initially, I, I thought it was a car accident because I wasn't thinking gunshots. And uh, literally, the moment I said, you know, I, I finally realized those were gunshots out the man with a rifle and um, came running towards, like, the first line of cars. And I was in that first line. And uh, he stood in front of my car and pointed the rifle right at my head in front of my car and started shouting and so uh it seemed like he was looking for a vehicle yeah and uh, just hearing that just makes your blood run cold carlo says all time froze in that moment carlo says that suspect did get into a vehicle he says he witnessed him get into a truck and then run away with officers then following we know that this came to a close near a neighborhood we spoke to people in there who were just absolutely blown away by the sheer amount of cops over there a helicopter buzzing ahead one man said police were searching in his backyard uh, another person said he saw someone being taken away in handcuffs I don't even know. We come home from the grocery store. We see all these cops here. I don't know what's going on in this neighborhood. I heard the helicopter hovering above my house, and it was dive bombing, shaking my windows. Because I come here, and there's 40 zillion cop cars all over the place. But they brought one guy from the corner uh, over to the fire truck and where the ambulance was. And he was handcuffed, and they had him kind of bent over as they were walking him. I don't know if he was injured or what. Yeah, and the roads where I'm standing right now are still closed. So if you need to go into this area, just note that you're going to have to make a few detours. This absolutely caused a traffic nightmare during rush hour traffic. Police absolutely have their hands full. They say they have a lot of witnesses they need to talk to and pour through information tonight. We are expected to hear an update later this evening. Reporting live in Phoenix, Lauren Clark, Fox 10 News.